Hi everyone, I'm Esther. In this video, I'm going to introduce the present perfect tense. This tense can be used to talk about an action that happened in the past, but when it happened is not very important or it's unknown. It can also be used to talk about an action that started in the past and continues in the present. We really want to emphasize how long the action has been happening. And finally, we use this tense to talk about a recent action. There's a lot to learn and a lot of important information, so keep watching. Let's talk about one usage of the present perfect tense. This tense can be used to talk about an action that happened in the past, but when it happened is not important or not known. However, this action is important to the conversation right now. Let's take a look at some examples. The first one says, I have been to Canada. What we do here is we start with the subject, I. For I, you, we, and they, we follow with have. After that, we use the past participle of the verb. In this case, the verb is be, and so the past participle is been. I have been to Canada. The next sentence says, my cousins have seen the movie. My cousins is a they, and so again, we follow with have. And the past participle of see is seen. They have seen the movie, or my cousins have seen the movie. The next example says, Chad has gone home. Chad is a he. For he, she, it, we follow with has. Then the past participle gone is for the verb go. Chad has gone home. And finally, my phone has been fixed. My phone is an it. Therefore, I use has. And then I need the past participle of be, been. My phone has been fixed. Let's move on to the next usage. The present perfect tense is also used to describe an action that started in the past and continues in the present. For and since are common expressions used with the present perfect tense. Let's take a look at these examples. I have worked there since 2002. You'll notice we start with the subject. If it's I, you, or we, we have have. Then the past participle of the verb. In this case, worked. What you'll notice here is that we also have since 2002. This shows when the action started. So with the expression since, you need to use a specific point in time. The next example does the same thing. You have had a car since last year. Again, we use since, so we have a specific point in time, last year. Take a look at the next example. Anna has liked him for weeks. In this case, the subject is Anna, which is a she, and so we use has, then the past participle liked. However, at the end of this sentence, we see for weeks, not since weeks. When we use for, we talk about the duration. We explain how long this action has been true. And finally, we have eaten lunch here for three months. Again, the sentence ends with for three months. So we show the duration. Let's move on to the next usage. In addition, the present perfect tense can be used to describe an action that recently stopped. Let's take a look at some examples. I have just been to the doctor. So just like for all the other usages, we start with the subject, have or has, and the past participle. But you'll notice here, I use the word just between have and the verb. I have just been to the doctor. This shows that it happened very recently. The next example says, James has just seen his new baby. Again, just goes in between have or has and the verb. Take a look at the next example. 
It says she has already been to China. Already is another word you can use to show that this action recently happened. However, already can also be moved to the end of the sentence. So it's perfectly fine to say she has been to China already. And in the last example, we have recently visited Tom. Again, you can put this word between have or has and the verb, or you can also put it at the end of the sentence. We have visited Tom recently. Let's move on. Let's take a look at the negative form of the present perfect tense. Here are some examples. The first one says, I have not been to Europe. What you'll notice in the first sentence is that we simply put a not between have and been. I have not been to Europe. You can also use a contraction and say, I haven't been to Europe. The next sentence says, it has not rained for three months. Again, we put the not between the has and the verb. It has not rained for three months. Here, we have a time expression to show the duration. The next example says, Teddy hasn't driven for two years. We use the contraction here for has and not, hasn't. And then we use the time expression for two years at the end of the sentence. And finally, the last sentence says, my sons haven't played soccer since 2010. We see another contraction here for have not, haven't. My sons haven't played soccer since 2010. This time expression uses since, and so we mention a specific point in time. Let's move on. Now, let's take a look at the have or has question form for the present perfect tense. Take a look at the board. The first sentence says, Mike has eaten lunch. That is a statement. Now to turn it into a question, it's quite easy. All you have to do is put has at the beginning. Then you follow with the subject and then the past participle. You'll notice that the placement of the past participle doesn't change. We've simply changed the order of the first two words. Has Mike eaten lunch? Has Mike eaten lunch? And you can answer by saying, yes, he has, or no, he hasn't. The next sentence says, they have watched the video. This is a statement. If we want to turn it into a question, again, we change the order of the first two words. Have they? And the past participle verb stays in the same place. Have they watched the video? Have they watched the video? You can answer this question by saying, yes, they have, or no, they haven't. Good job, guys. Let's move on. Now, I'll briefly introduce how to ask WH questions in the present perfect tense. Take a look at the board. I have where, what, who, and how. These go at the beginning of the question. Let's take a look at the first example. Where has Tim been? You'll notice we follow the WH word with has or have. In this case, I use has because the subject is Tim and Tim is a he. And then we follow that with the past participle of the verb. Where has Tim been? And I can answer by saying Tim has been home or Tim has been on vacation, something like that. The next question says, what countries have you visited? I can answer by saying, I have visited China, or I have visited Mexico. You can also use the contraction I've. I've visited China. The next question says, who has she talked to? You can answer by saying, she has talked to her mom, or she has talked to her teacher. The next question says, how long have you been married? I've been married for three years. That's one answer that you can give. Great job, everybody. Let's move on. Excellent job, everyone. You just learned about the present perfect tense. 
There was a lot to learn, but you did a wonderful job. Keep studying English. I know that it's hard, but you will get better with time, effort, and practice. I'll see you in the next video.